Alright, welcome back guys to another video. Uh, in the previous video we've done this terrain. It was quite boring to watch I can imagine, but we had to do it. Uh, I hope you've got a really nice terrain like my one. So, um, right, the first thing I want to do guys is just delete this terrain. I didn't use it in the previous video. And I'm going to call this one Mountain Range. Um, let's do the same here. Mountain Range. Alright. Sorted. So the first thing I want to do is put my first person controller in there. Character controllers, first person controller. So um, this guy's built in with Unity, so it's available to everyone. Uh, and because there's already a camera in my first person controller, I can delete my main camera. So we only need one camera in the scene, alright guys? Um, I'm just looking at our terrain and it looks very hard for our character to walk on. So let's get the smooth the smooth um, operation in our terrain and just kind of try and smooth out the terrain if we can. Um, let's put our opacity down a bit so it's not as... So um, I'm just trying to make a nice path for our character. Goes down a bit there. Um, right at the beginning is a bit dodgy. So okay looks a bit better looks good there yeah that's good I want some randomness in the scene let's move this down a bit uh, right so it's heading downwards okay so um, let's play the game see what it's like wow that looks pretty good uh, it's better than I thought it would be um, there's a nice fog effect at the end so it's kind of misty uh, these textures are kind of big, it looks like I'm really small and miniature, so to deal with that we can um, go into our terrain. Uh, let's go to our textures. Um, where are they? Here they are, I think. Edit the textures in here, guys. Um, let's edit this and bring it, let's bring it down to 10 maybe. Apply. Let's edit this one as well. Just make it a bit more detailed. Make the tile size smaller so it becomes um, more detailed. Let's try again. Yeah, that looks a bit better actually. A bit more detailed as well, so that's good. Um, so the um, the lake. Let's put the lake in. So I'm just going to put a little lake um, at the bottom somewhere. Uh, I think this would be a good place to put it, just like in the previous project I did. So. Uh, Again, let's get this tool out here, the first one. Let's lower the terrain um, to bring the opacity up a bit. Okay, so let's just mould out our lake. So I just want it to go through here and then maybe turn a bit. Yeah, just a bit like that. And then it's going to stop here. Uh, make things higher just to make it a bit better okay make these a bit higher okay guys so really flexible tool the terrain tool in unity and um, we want that to be quite high at the end Okay, that'd do. So that's our little shape for our um, lake. I might make a little crack in the wall later, so we've got particle fix spewing out here. But um, for now, let's just go to... Um, where's the water? I think it's in the st uh, standard assets. They like water, that'd do. So, uh, drag it out. Alright, let's bring it up a bit. Let's do that. It's kind of leaking through in it. Actually that looks quite good. So maybe our character can go through these bits maybe. Um so yeah, I'm just gonna run up to the water and show you guys. Uh our character's rather slow, so I'm just gonna edit the first person controller movement. And uh, let's just double everything. Just double the movement, so faster now so we can run through our map 
yeah that was really nice um the, there's a really nice reflection and stuff you can do with you water in unity so that's our water but the problem is guys we can fall through the water and we can also fall through the maps so um we don't want that to happen so first thing we're going to do is uh make an empty game object and let's just bring it here we need a bit of a random position didn't it so i'm just going to add a um a box collider on here so just uh the X can be rather thin, uh, the Y can go up a bit and so can the Z. Let's just go for a hundred. So that that looks about right. So this will stop the character falling off the terrain. So uh, we can call this one end, duplicate it, top, rotate it 90 degrees. Whoops, in the, is it the Y? Yes, it is. Around the Y. Bring it back. Let's call this one left. Let's make it a bit wider. Right. Okay, guys. So, going to the Y, just try and make it a bit nicer. Change it to 150, actually. Um, do the end again and the other one I think was the left alright so I'm just going to make another empty game object barriers one two three four keep a hierarchy nice and tidy guys so um, there you go the character can't escape now let's just go back into a perspective yeah it kind of covers the whole area then it's so uh, I'm just going to demonstrate this. Boom, the character can't move anymore. <laughs> Alright, so nice little trick. Uh, before I finish this video, guys, in this video, I'm going to create the barriers for our lake. I'm just going to go into our ter terrain again. It's good to go into your terrain as you build your project just to tweak areas, you know. So let's do that. I'm going to bring this up a tiny, tiny bit bring the surrounding area down a bit so yeah that looks really nice alright save it out okay I think I'll finish this video here alright guys so adding water is really simple in unity uh, you can import your water assets you don't need the pro version you can have the um, free version of water so and we put the first person controller in there Alright, so in the next video, I'm going to show you guys a really neat trick on how to um, put your barrier around the lake because it's a very complex shape. As you can see, we can't put some um, box colliders in because the couch will just like running random positions. So that'll be the next video. Uh, thanks for watching, guys. Hopefully, see you in the next video.